Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, as you can tell, I am doing my Premier League table prediction for the 2017-18 season. You can see the table on my right hand side. Um, so I'm going to tell you why I've got it up in this order, obviously relegation, top four, and then the middle. So in 20th I'm going with Huddersfield, after I beat Reading in the playoff final on penalties, um, obviously it all depends what I do in the window, but I can't see them surviving. Uh, I think they might struggle. Obviously, we have to wait and see. But yeah, I can't see them getting out of relegation zone. So, sorry, Huddersfield. In 19th, I have gone for Watford. Yet yeah, again, they look like struggling a bit last season. So, I think they might go back into the Championship for the. 2018 19th season and 18th. I've gone with Swansea. Swansea justified by the skin of their teeth in last season, uh, thanks to Palace beating Hull. And so, yeah, I think Swansea will go down. So, sorry to all you fans that are putting a relegation zone. Obviously, it might not end up like this. This is just my theory and what I think what's going to happen during the season and how it's going to end up. And then, come the end, I will review it and see how many I've got right. In 17th, I've gone with Crystal Palace. Yet again, just surviving by the skin of their teeth after beating Hull. Um... I think Palace will do a bit of work in the window, but if they don't do that work and get a right manager in, I think yeah, again, they could go down. But obviously I've only got three spaces to put them in, so that's why we're in 17th. In 16th, I'm going for Brighton. Obviously, first season, first season in the Prem. Um, so, I think, I think they will survive, obviously me being a Brighton lad and uh, I'm not just looking up for them, I think we've got the authority to survive, obviously the likes of Knockhart and Murray who's played Premier League for Bournemouth and I also think Palace, um, but I think we need to do a bit of work in the window. So that's why I've put them in 16th. In 15th I've gone for Newcastle. Newcastle look as strong enough as they are. But I think they need to push a little bit more for wins. Um, obviously it's thanks to Villa getting the late equaliser. And Villa Park, which is why I took the title. So, uh, 14th I've gone Burnley. Obviously, lots of Ashley Barnes and um, Sam Vokes and Tom Heaton, I think he still played for them. I think they got a strong enough squad to stay in. In 13th, I've gone Stoke. I know about the way Stoke has built their ground. Um, firstly, in the Premier League, they had to build it so they got an advantage, which they used the wind in their advantage. I'm not sure quite how that works, but I found it's a good idea. Um, 
In 12th, I've gone for Bournemouth. Yeah, again, one of Brighton's derbies. Palace is not a derby, it's a rivalry. Because Palace is in London, we're down on the south coast. So, it's just a rivalry. Not really a derby, but people start calling it the M23 derby, which you could call it that. But, so, Bournemouth... Being a South Coast rival, I've been down there, little ground, but I managed to survive, so, and they're doing well under Eddie Howard, so um, I think they're finishing 12th, and every far I've gone for the team that's just going into their second season at the Olympic Park is West Ham. After losing Poyet, I think they have to do with a bit of getting some structure back in their team. But I think they will finish 11th, maybe 14th, 13th. But I've stuck in 11th purely because I think they got the team spirit and everything to do it. In 10th, I have gone for Southampton. Yeah, again, another uh, South Coast rival team. I ain't actually been to St Mary's purely because the day we were supposed to play them, I went well. But yeah, I think they got the structure, I got the fans. So I think I'm do 10th, maybe even a bit better. With the likes of Charlie Austin and Shane Long, I think he still plays for him. So I think they do 10th, mate, could do a bit higher. In 9th, I've gone Leicester. After sucking their manager, um, you know, getting out of that dog fight for the relegation, and then I think they actually finished 9th as well. So, I think they do well with the likes of Jamie Vardy, Smichael. So, I think Lejoa, I think they're going to have quite a good season. In 8th, as you can tell, I've gone to West Brom. At the Hawthorns, they have been struggling on and off this season. So, um, I think they will do 8th, maybe a bit less, maybe down to 11th. Obviously, it's just my theory and what I think is going to happen. Um, in 7th, I've gone for Everton. If they lose the Kaku, they could finish lower. Plus Ross Barkley as well. You know, there's stories going on around him. So, but I think they could do seventh, maybe worse if depends if they lose the Kaku or not. Um in sixth I've gone for Arsenal. Purely because Arsenal said they are going to strengthen in the window, but it all goes on where, the, where are they going to strengthen it? They're going to do midfield, attack, all over. I don't know, but I think they might struggle to get into that top four yet again. But we have to wait and see. In fifth, I've gone for Tottenham. Only reason I've put Tottenham in fifth because they've had their first they've had their first season at Wembley with the European games. But I got to go play Leeds at Wembley this coming season. League and Cup, so 
I, I think they won two out of all their games at Wembley in Europe. I might be wrong. Put it down in the comments below if I have said it wrong. So I think they're finishing fifth. But if it's a really bad season, I might even think they finish 16th. So, you know, Tottenham, I think I will keep a close eye on to them to see how they do their first season at Wembley. At four, I've gone for Manchester City. Um, the likes of Aguero, and um, I would say Joe Hart, but I'm not sure if he's going to stay or not. Um, company and, you know, so I think they will just about get four spot. In third, I've gone for Liverpool. Now, Liverpool... Under Klopp, great. Great support, great atmosphere, great management. I just think they need to, when they play the bottom teams, like Huddersfield, Brighton, Newcastle, Palace, I think they need to pick it up a bit. I think they need to stop thinking, because they're a bottom club, they're going to walk them over. Football don't work like that. You know, we... Brighton have nearly beaten, beat, no, nearly beat Tottenham. We beat Newcastle down here twice. As they're, while well, they're in the Premier League, we played them in the FA Cup twice, beat them twice. We nearly, we nearly did have Arsenal down here as well. So if I think Liverpool's going to get a third spot, I need to push all their games, stop thinking it's going to be a walkover, and then they might get third in second spot and just missing out. On the top, I've gone, as you can see, Manchester United. Why have I gone United in second spot? I think when Jason Mourinho came in, when you come into a club, you have to sign your contract, get your targets over to the chairman, and it's all, obviously, you know, Jason Mourinho need, needs time to prepare the squad. Now, with the full season, he's be second full season in charge of United. I personally think they will get in the top four. But yet again, we have to wait and see. In top spot, I've gone for Chelsea. I think because Chelsea have um, our starting to dominate again. Um. The likes of John Terry leaving could impact on the club, but I don't think it will as much as it would if it was first team. But I will possibly offer them a new contract at Chelsea, but if it comes to Brighton, then I'm happy with that. But I think Chelsea will... Um, I think Chelsea will have the top spot yet again. Um, before I wrap up, um, fans have got to stick together with their club. Stop giving them such a hard time when they lose. You have your good days and your bad days. When you have your bad days, you've got to stick behind them. Um, when Brian got on to have the League Cup against Lincoln, you know, there's a bit of banner going over social media. But I said, right, would you want the FA Cup or promotion? And a lot of them's going promotion, going, well, I don't, I don't want to do both. Not until we're into the Premier League, which we are now. Um, surely the reason is, if we've got someone like Arsenal, we would have had to play Notcar and um, Murray and, you know, I wouldn't want our best players to get injured, so I was glad Lincoln, Lincoln knocked us out, to be honest. Purely because we could concentrate on the league then, and we ain't got to focus about midweek games and whatever else. And then rearranging our fixture list, and um, so yeah, I'm 
I was happy we got knocked out there. Um, another thing I'm going to say, I do understand supporting your clubs in football. What I don't understand is, like, Glenn Murray, he played for Brighton, he played for Palace, he went to Bournemouth, came back to Brighton. They're doing their job. They're trying to get as much money for their families to keep them safe, to keep them well. But I don't get it where over on social media as such, fans go, oh, I don't want him, I don't want him. If he's paid for Palace, then he's paid for Palace. If we put enough for him, if Brighton put enough for him, for him, for a certain player who's, who has played for Palace, but I think he'd do bright and well. I'm not going to complain. This is where, as I said, they provided money for their families. So, you know, it's just one of them things. Football, you have to try, players keep on transferring over and over again. But as I said, Glenmo played for Brighton, went to Palace, went to Bournemouth, came back to Brighton. So, you know, if if your club does buy a rival player from one of your rivals or whatever, you got to stick. You got to stick behind the club's decision. They got all the paperwork. They got all the statistics. They know roughly what they need for the club. So just stick behind your team. Keep supporting them. You know, if they get a rival player, then they got a rival player. Get behind him. So, this is where I'm going to end this video, guys. Thanks for looking at my league table. Thanks for listening to my um, uh, circumstances while I put this league table out. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscription. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.